you know, everything just started like a whistle in my head. But then, it just didn't matter what I was doing or where I was. It, 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 it just wouldn't stop. Okay, Mr. Apple, let me see if on my book here we can find a proper way to stop your problem. A way to stop it? But Doc, I want to spread it. Battlefield 5 is a masterpiece. And I know what you're thinking. Oh, but Apo, there's this Japanese SMG that goes and Wamen uh, on a battlefield game in World War II? Yeah, no shit. Listen, if you're able to enjoy a World War II game that destroys weapons so badly and whatever the fuck this is. I'm sure you'll be able to conquer your fear of the opposite sex. And with that being said, let's see why Battlefield 5 is so... Before that, have you ever considered subscribing? No? No? no okay. Well, okay. Obviously, the first thing that comes to mind is multiplayer. Because, you know, coming from an entire life in Call of Duty, it was an absolute cold shower. <laughs> this because, besides Warzone, Call of Duty multiplayer is fairly simple. Just small three-way maps, seasonal meta where 99% of gun is useless, and cheating matchmaking. Basically, just do whatever the fuck you want. You wanna help people with a thousand rounds per minute submachine gun that somehow becomes a fucking assault rifle that melts everyone? Yeah, do it! You wanna ruin everyone's favorite World War II gun? Yeah! Fuck! Choke yourself with it! <laughs> While on paper all of this sounds evansome, it all translates in a frustrating gameplay where you get killed every two seconds for reasons that not even gods can comprehend. But Battlefield, it is so different yet so similar in some ways. Let's just start with the fact that there is the server browsing, so you can just pick up the map that you like the most or the lobby that looks the less sweatier. And of course, the class system! Besides the main ability of giving things full of ammo to your teammates or healing them up, the class systems affect the weapon and the gadget and subsequently your entire playstyle. And there are four of them, Assault, Medic, Support and Recon. For demonstration, let's see the class that get chosen the most by the noobs. And of course I'm talking about the Recon. The Recon class attracts new players promising lots of powerful rifles, bolt action, anti-tank, self-loading, but also pistols, carabine and one of these weird shit. But it's all a trap, because in Battlefield you can achieve a one-shot kill only with a clean headshot or if you give up your dignity. But an anti-tank rifle comes with a heavy cost, the cost of no mobility, because it can only be aimed when the bipod is developed, which makes you an incredibly easy target for other snipers on whoever got a scope on their gun. Other than the fact the bipods are fucking broken. While self-loading rifles are easier because they only need two kills to hit. And they are self-loading, which means no funny movement with the bolts every time you shoot. But their slow rates of fire and high recoil still makes them pretty difficult to use against moving targets. In these cases, gadgets can help even the most useless sniper into obtaining a kill. 
because they are objects that you can use to give an advantages to you on your team. For example, the flare gun, the spot nearby enemies for your team. Or the beacon to give your squad a spam point on a good position. Recon can use smoke grenades to cover his ass while escaping or normal grenades to kill himself and switch to the medic class. Between all the 700 million guns that this game offers, the medic uses the SMGs. Some of them with high recoil, high rate of fire and low damage, while others are the exact opposite. But the most interesting gun that the medic class has to offer are the shot rifles. Because while they are essentially miniature sniper rifle, they are fucking interesting, man. Look at this shit. Oh, this one, the M27 Trambagino. It's Italian, like me. Being able to use smokes or normal grenades, or even a smoke grenade launcher, the medic can put on offensive strategies while keeping everyone alive and away from a psychological breakdown. The medic can also throw bandages or, or crates of bandages to keep everyone healthy and dandy. But before you start your illegal medic business, Remember that in BF5 every squad member can revive his own squad member even without being a medic. If the medic is the most useful class, assault is the funniest and not because you can choose from an incredible variety of assault rifles which some of them are fully automatic or some of them semi but because of the gadgets. Dynamite, Bazooka, Panzerfaust, Piat, and this... This shit! And a grenade launcher! Okay, come on, guys! I need to achieve something other than disappointment! Watch this incredible... Ah! Oh! Oh! Yes! That was a little bit excessive from me! Oh! Again, man! What is going on? Ow! <laughs> oh no no no! I, I want to escape. They just want to teabag me at this point. I already know. That. And now the last class, the support. Specialized in every range, the support uses the heaviest gun like MMG, LMGs, but also shotguns. LMGs are pretty strange thanks to battlefield specialization system and they are pretty valuable and they are pretty vi valuable <laughs> and they are pretty valuable at every range. Thanks to their bipod and optional tripper scope, you can easily hit the furthest target, but their magazines are usually pretty small, holding a maximum of 30 rounds for the most accurate ones. Of course, it's possible to find larger magazines, but the LMGs in question are inaccurate and only good for medium range combat. LMGs do offer 250 round magazine with the right specialization, but those guns can only be aimed and hip fired correctly when the bipod is placed. The support is also the only one that can effectively counter the medic SMGs with his shotguns. Yeah, please never use them. The only remarkable gadget that the super class can offer, besides the pistol grenade launcher, is the boomstick. So you can easily end yourself after resupplying all of your squad with ammo. Good job! So you probably already guessed, there are lots of guns, and every lead dispenser has its own specialization, which drastically improves the gun. There are 8, but only 4 can be used, with the second one dictating the skill line that you'll apply. For example, the first two are just generic skills, which will affect the time to aim, reload or switch weapon. Then you can usually choose between hip fire accuracy to melt everything at point range or recoil control for better aim. 
Some guns may indeed offer a skill to improve the bullet velocity, magazine capacity or right fire as well. All the scopes can be applied independently from the specialization. You know, just to keep everything balanced and complicated. But Apple, you are a liar! Why the fuck do you always get game-ended from Type 2 A's and shotguns? Well, the answer is very simple. Have you ever tried a different game mode? Let's be real, the majority of Battlefield 5 player base right now is coming from, you know, that shit. So they usually stick with Team Deathmatch, you know, which is not bad, but maps are way smaller and the action is usually focused in a single point, which of course means that the people that have lighter and faster weapon will always win. I mean, have you ever tried Conquest or Rush? You know, having bigger maps and vehicles give you more possibilities. Too many snipers? Take a fucking tank and repair yourself. You're lazy, you're lazy shit like me, aren't ya? And you don't wanna walk? Well, just drop your ass from an airplane. It's just that, man. You have lots of possibility. Maybe you even prefer to keep the distance and use defensive tactics. Well, you can do that. Maybe you just want to destroy everything until you find it. Fucking do that! Everything is possible in BF5 because unlike his competitor, the game drives you into your personal meta and do not force one upon you. And the sherry on top of the cake is every match is seasoned with just the best soundtrack ever fitted to a video game. The epicness and the bravery that inspires is it's just incredible. Uh, do I sound strange when I say that I listen to this song to, you know, give me more motivation when I was writing the script? Yes, and this is what a soundtrack should do, make you feel what your character is feeling. The honor and the adrenaline of those men who fought and lost their lives for what they hoped would be a better future. I just have one thing to say about the soundtrack. Mr. Patrick Andren and Johan uh, Soder Sodium. May I shut your cocks? Now, on to worse stories. They fucking suck. <laughs> it doesn't matter what one you're playing. The only fun I had with it was to witness how fucking broken and incomplete they were. Or I just got fucking epilepsy. Epile epil Listen, I'm not English. But on the other side, sometimes he managed to show a part of history that was never told, or simply it has been ignored. Like, uh, like that one, where we take control of a Tiralu. At the end, I, I almost cried when they revealed that France recognized the service and granted them the military pension only in 2010, when the vast majority of them, unfortunately, was already dead. This truly is disgusting. I don't know what else to say. Unfortunately, the rest of the campaign are afflicted by dialogues written by the hand of a seven-year-old child that always get called champ or buddy. But hey, who the fuck buys a game in 2020 for the story? Right? Right? With that being said, I hope to see you on the battlefield. I'm such a comedian. Really a big thanks to you for watching this video and I hope to see you next time. And before ending, have you ever considered following me on Twitch? The link will be in the description. Thank you again for watching and hope to see you next time. Bye for now. Oh, yes. <laughs>